Deuteronomy 26, 17. Et Adonai he'emarta hayom lichyot lecha lelohim velalechet bid rachav velishmor chukav u mitzvotav u mishpatav velishmoa bekolo. Now, this part here with the ethnoch is what's going to take the most attention uh, for us today, and also in the next video, verse 18. And the verb that we're looking at is this one right here that's a little tricky. You might notice that this is a hifil. It's a hifil perfect 2ms of the verbal root amar. And if you look up amar in halot, you'll see that it only occurs in these two verses, verse 17 and 18. Uh, as a hifil, and so this is what we have here. So if we look at the hifil technically, and we notice the direct object marker here, what we would normally want to say is, you, 2ms, caused hifil, the Lord, to say today, and this is some sort of declaration that the Lord made, but it was caused by you or the people. Now that gets a little bit tricky in covenant relationship, and so Sometimes you'll see this as, you declared today that the Lord would exist for you as God. But then that doesn't really stay true to the syntax, I think, that we have going on here, where we have a true 2MS verb. So what I'm going to come down to here today, and then we'll see this in the next video as well, is that I think what we've got is some sort of covenant formula language going on here where both parties are agreeing and affirming the statements that follow. And so in this particular case, you've got Israel affirming uh, to the Lord or with the Lord, something like that, to exist for you as God. And so Israel is saying, yes, the Lord is our God. And then as this continues, we get the infinitive construct here on the verbal root halach, and that one, uh, we'll have to look at the morphology of that some other day, but la lechet is correct there. So, and to walk in his ways. Notice third masculine singular suffix there. Then we get another infinitive, this time of shamar, and to keep his statutes and his commandments. Notice all these, uh, all these pronominal suffixes and his judgments. And then finally, another infinitive construct, this time of the verbal root shama, and to listen to his voice or to hear his voice with the bait marking there what to be listened to or heard. And we could also go with something like obey his voice here as well.